Thank you for liking my wallpaper. Are you here to learn how to heal? <laughs> Do you have any specific questions on how to heal? Oh God, look who it is. Are you here to learn how to heal? Catch him slipping. What? Who is this? The glasses aren't fake. He said, of course. So tell me something you'd like to heal. Let's do it like that. Something actually serious. Something something that would be a great conversation start on, start a starter. Catch him slipping. Their prescription. What? Oh, my favorite flower. Um, dandelions. Is that how? You, <laughs> that's how we're healing. Yeah, this person is crazy, bruh. No, I'm not gonna show you receipts for my freaking prescription. Here you wanna know so no one pays a thousand dollars for a frame if they're not prescription. Okay. <laughs> I'm not one of those people that's just gonna put on fake glasses on here. Okay. Um no, catch them slipping. I love dandelions. You get to make wishes on them, bro. What? <laughs> but no, catch them slipping. You have to be a part of the uh, the initiation of this awesome conversation. Okay. So tell me something you actually want to heal. Like when you're alone in your room... And you think about life and the things that make you sad, but you don't know where to begin. But you know you want to change this thing. What is it? And don't be shy, catch them slipping, okay? You're one of the favored bullies here, okay? <laughs> so don't disappoint me. It is a big question. Let's see if you're a big boy. Yeah, I'm in a relationship with myself. <laughs> okay, let me be more soft about it. Um, no, I'm not in a relationship. I am single. Well... How far along are y'all in the relationship? Actually, that's that that is an irrelevant question. Get out. Leave. Yeah, get out. Mm -mm. Two years. She still doesn't. She never. This is something that's important in relationships. You need to talk about those things or work on heal. <laughs> heal. That's what we need to do here. Heal. So that we attract better people in our lives who want the same things we want. Because no longer are we in a world of opposites attracting. No. No. We want our same self. That's what you really want. You think, oh, this person, they're goth. I'm hip hop. This is going to work out aesthetically. It's cool. But she's goth. She might not want kids. You're hip hop. She wants You want kids. It's not going to work. Oh, I love this guy. You're so open. I, I know, right? <laughs> I like your I like your uh your name. I know, right? Um and if that's not, that's your nickname. Um I'm a Leo and I love I like being in love. Who doesn't like being in love? Who doesn't? Why do you think I do all the work that I do? Because I want to be in love. I'm in love with myself. Now I want to be in love with another person. 
Like, I want to be in love with another person so, so bad. Or so, so good. <laughs> She'll give you a kid as if it's a, a present. <laughs> as if it's like some sort of object. Like, yes, it's a present for the both of you. But I mean, like, no, if a woman truly loves you, you will both create, you will both make love and create something very magical to share with one another. Just because they have your last name doesn't mean it's yours. Thanks, I know, right? Wait, she has kids? Oh my God, she has kids and she doesn't want to give, oh. Okay, now I, I, am, I sympathize with it a lot more. Okay, I get why she doesn't want to have kids. You got to leave, man. You got to leave, you can't force her. Having kids is two for a woman is enough. <laughs> and then when she starts having more, it's just because she genuinely wants to, but the toll on a woman's body, especially an unhealed woman's body, is not, it, it takes more than a mommy makeover to heal that, okay? Postpartum is just the icing on the cake. What, the girls actually put that in their bio? I always laugh when a girl has have kids and don't want more. Well, I mean, that's a good thing because, you know, you just have to let people know outright. That's the type of women that are in the world these days. We don't have time for the games. Like we're, if you don't want to be with someone who doesn't, who has kids, we'd rather let you know than go on a date with you. And then like a month in, you find out that we have kids, like, and then you leave and then we're heartbroken, like, no. And then also straight up being like, yo, I don't want. I don't want any more kids. I'm okay. So that lowers the pool for you, which makes it easier. No one wants to be out here dating forever, man. Like really, I know they make it seem like the single life is so great, but the single life from a man's world is shit. And we all know it. That's how come everybody is on Bumble, Tinder, this, that, and the third. In Instagram is now a dating app at this point. Like... People are DMing each other left and right because we want to be codependent. Nothing's wrong with being codependent. We're humans. We're meant to rely on each other. We provide each other with things. It's just, are you codependent toxically or are you codependent from a place of interdependence? I think... Opposite aesthetics are such the coolest thing, but again, the opposite aesthetic might come with opposite belief systems and nobody has time for that. There's so many, like I, for example, me, I'm somebody who is very free spirited. So let's say something as controversial as religion, okay? Someone who has no religion is a free thinker. I could be with someone who believes in a creed who very much so lives by that. But are they a free thinker in their mind as well too? Some, you know, sometimes religion is more cultural than it is traditional. So it depends, again, but that's the thing. Like, it would make more sense for me to be with someone who has no religion, who is also a free thinker as well. It's just easier that way. But again, if the person is an open-minded person, then it it will be easy. See, those are the things I think about. Oh my God, catch him slipping. You're, oh, you know how many guys I've heard that are like, oh, I want 10 kids. I want eight kids. No. You should be happy with one, one to two, three tops, but that's it. She doesn't love you if she won't give you any kids. No, that's not selfish. Not selfish in the way you're taking it. It it's definitely is a selfish act, protecting herself. You see, 
you need it in a very toxic way that you're not going to get it from the likes of me. And you're still in this life because you want to get love from me. And the thing is, because I can hear the neediness in your voice, I'm already turned off. So if you want to be with a woman who is like me, you have to be willing to love yourself and not expect a woman to feed you that love. That's also why she is telling you, she is speaking from her subconscious because as a woman, we intuitively pick up on those things. And she is a woman who has had two kids of her own, is very intuitive, whether she's healed or not. And she can tell that you have mommy issues. So that's her soft way of just telling you, no, I'm not going to be the gumball machine that churns out love for you. And that's just the harsh reality of it. She acts like she would give you a kid because she's siphoning from you your energy because you're weak and you need to get stronger because once you leave her, you're going to fall into the hands of another woman who can tell that you're a lover boy at heart, who grew up with a narcissist of a mother who didn't give you any love. And rather than let go of easy bait, she's going to suck you dry until one day you find out that she was cheating on you. And the only reason you'll know that she was cheating on you is because she wanted you to know. And this is why men are afraid of women. Yeah, she wants a stepdad, just like I said. If she can pretend, she can pretend, act, lie, do whatever she wants for that male energy in her life, just to give her good D, you know, her kids can have a male presence that is soft-hearted and sweet around, and she can manipulate the whole situation in her favor. If she can get you to believe that she acts like she wants kids, then she can get you to do anything. And she might not even want to marry you, but she'll keep you around because you fulfill other needs that she could fulfill on her own if she wanted to. But again, she came across a guy who is very generous in love. So why would she let you go? I went on a Bumble date. It was an L. The guy was on his, he was listening to a podcast. And in five minutes, I just told him to get up. And I ate my ham and cheese croissant in solitude. Now you see, you're confusing that you're taking it in the manosphere way. Not having religion means that I don't possess it. It's not my rock. I observe it. I respect it. I take philosophy from it and I use it to cultivate my own world. I grew up Catholic. There's no way I could throw that away. Being a free thinker means exactly what I just said. Choosing to live outside of the box as much as possible while still acknowledging truth in groundbreaking philosophy. No, I don't need a God-fearing man. Any man that fears anything is a man that I don't need, period. I need a man who respects God, that is me, woman. Okay, I know, right, bro? You, okay, so you're in love with a woman 
that doesn't talk to you, do I have to go on? Like, I mean, you don't need, no, you don't. You need therapy. Or you need to come on, watch all the videos on my page and heal yourself. Because it looks like to me, like I said, you have a narcissist of a mom. And she fucked you up for any woman. And any woman who takes you at this point is an abusive woman. So any woman that would use and abuse you. Any woman that you find who is attracted to you is using you and abusing you. Until you heal yourself enough to attract someone who knows how to handle a submissive man like you. I come from a family of people who their parents had nothing less than 10 kids. And they were extremely unhealthy. Again, perspective. You leave. It's easy. It's not hard. Leave her. The longer you stay, the more you fall in love with an illusion. And next thing you know, she's going to leave you broke on the side of the street. You see, that's what I'm saying. I know, right? You're too sweet of a man, bro. And you need to be with someone who is sweet as you. You want to show love because you have a hard time giving yourself love. I would know. Go watch every video that I've posted. Yeah, women and men fumble good men. I mean, that's life, you know. Uh, no, it depends, again, perspective. Like, my perspective is a higher perspective. It's a woman's world perspective. It's not a man's world. In a man's world, everybody's selfish if you don't give your, your freaking heart to people who don't deserve it, okay? So sometimes it seems like a woman is fumbling, but it's not. She sensed something that just is not going to work. And it usually was within herself because women tend to hold themselves more accountable than men. Catch him slipping is always fighting, okay? So just ignore him. <laughs> I know, right? I appreciate you. Thank you, Wit. Hey, Wit, what's up? Okay, you see, this is me and Catch Them Slipping had a great time on live the other day. And I told him this is exactly what was going to happen. He was going to come on live and turn into the bully that he, his persona wants him to be versus the kind, submissive man he was the other day. <laughs> So what are, what's the debate today, catch him slipping? Okay, all that is fine and good, but Jesus is the only way, babe. Oh, God, Jesus. I'm not even going to go into that conversation. When you say no religion, do you mean not in the sense that man can be intermediate between God? I mean no religion is that I'm not going to follow a set of rules made up by men to suppress women and children. Yo, Wit, thank you. Thank you, Wit. Thank you. I'm pinning that so Catch Him Slipping can freaking laugh. Jeez Louise. Yo, she's a Scorpio. She's going to suck you dry, literally and figuratively. Get out of there. And she's usually doing the literally to keep you stuck. God shows people what they need to see. 
And I needed to see and experience the horrors of being indoctrinated into white religions as a melanated person and what that does to the spirit when one forgets themselves because a white man told them to put on clothes. Well, catch him slipping. I hold myself so accountable that at times it's unhealthy. At times it's unwarranted. (laughs) So as a woman, I can honestly say that about myself. I know it's a rarity in the world for men to appreciate women who actually stand by their word because it's again it's rare but when you're in this life you're in the face you're in the presence of a woman who is actually a divine mother a divine woman someone who's done the work to be able to tell people like I know right to get out of that situation right now because I don't choose sides I don't really care This isn't a girl's voice versus boy's childish game to me. This is life. A life that I choose to live in harmony with my soul. And if more people would choose to live their lives in harmony, the world would be a better place. Where if a man wanted eight kids, he could naturally find a woman who would give him eight kids (laughs) and that could happen but we're in a world where a guy like I know right is attracting a succubus (laughs) so exactly okay I know, right? Oh my God. I'm sorry because that is very true. I know women, well, I used to know women who I would watch them do the same thing. They would always blame everybody. It's a narcissist. It's because I'm telling you, I know, right? I don't even need to know anymore from the little that you've told me and from reading your voice because I'm psychic. You grew up in a narcissistic background. You grew up with a narcissistic mother. And you've been trying to replicate that relationship. And because you haven't been able to replicate it, it's just making you more and more lovesick. But what you need to do is first deal with your mommy issues. And once you deal with that, you'll stop attracting mommies. Like you're literally attracting mommies. Literally, she has two kids. Next thing you know, you're going to attract someone with five different baby daddies. Like, how much worse does it have to get for you to freaking accept, like, yo, I'm an L. Catch him slipping. You know I'm not, not a feminist. We're not doing this today. You're welcome. I know, right? Jameson, you are always in my life, Jameson. Okay, let's see. Let's talk about Black women, Then, Any thoughts? Let's see. What what thoughts are you looking for? And no, we're not going to fight today, Jameson. What thoughts are you looking for? Okay, first of all, we need to stop looking at it as a melanated thing, Okay. Melanated men are very objectifying of everything that they have, especially women. That's the first problem. Y'all have us. We are not to be possessed. 
And that is why you are met with resistance. Melanated women are the epitome of a free spirit. And when you chop her down to her hair being not real, her hair being like this, her body being that, her this being that, her oh, she likes white men, oh, this, oh, that, oh, that, you're going to continuously be met with opposition. You got to stop doing that. If melanated women understand the tragedy of the melanated man, the melanated man should hold himself accountable to his role that has made the melanated woman stronger than she needs to be. And then you will meet a soft melanated woman who will love you in the way she loves a white man in the way she loves a Hispanic man, in the way she loves an Asian man, and the list goes on. Catch him slipping, you're the one asking me very low hanging fruit right now, genuinely, because you know I'm not gonna debate you. <laughs> you know that, you know I don't answer stupidity. No, I know, no, I know, right? No, 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 no. That false perception of melanated femininity is a lie of the man's world. By being a backbone, you mean doing your duty on top of being a woman? Do you understand that a woman is a job within itself every single week? my body is going through a whole different phase of reality. We are not men who work off testosterone 24 seven. I'm working off estrogen, bro. I need to sleep a lot. I need to eat a lot certain times of the week, certain times of the month. Certain times of the month, all I wanna do is lay in bed and eat candy. But I can't because I have to be the backbone to grown big fat babies. No. No. <laughs> what? Do men know women in general? This goes beyond melanation. Do men understand that fundamental thing about being a woman? I have a period that on average is a 30 day cycle. One week out of the month, I am bleeding. And depending on the month, it's heavier than others. Depending on the month, my body is transmutating all sorts of emotions around me that aren't even mine. And on top of that, I'm bleeding. And on top of that, I'm cramping. And on top of that, my body's trying to push out an egg. And then when that week is up, my body is regulating its emotions so that I can walk outside with a fucking smile on my face. And then I have one week where everything's good. I feel good. I look good. I feel skinny. I can wear my booty shorts and a crop top and walk outside. And then that week ends. And then the next week I start feeling like shit again. Because that's the, that's the bare minimum of being a woman. So imagine being a woman married to a man that is, you're the backbone. And then you have kids. I'm single, bro. My life is focused on me. So it, uh, now let's talk about women who are working multiple jobs, taking care of multiple children and grown men. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. Oh, we don't want to talk about it. No. Men want women like me. I'm all put together. My hair is done. My teeth are wet. My lips are glossy and fat. Fat booty, fat. Fat everything. Ready. But then you can't handle it. You can't take care of it. When I start getting into the maintenance of this. Melanated women, all women in general, need time. 
that in a man's world, they do not have. So when men selfishly say stupid things like, oh, the, the Bible supports women. This isn't about them in any. Jesus loves you. And the list goes on. I tend to laugh and ignore it because you don't know what the fuck you're saying. So until a man starts bleeding <laughs> and understands what that emo the, the emotional toil, imagine the first time, like for example, for me, I didn't even, I was bull, I don't even want to go into that. <laughs> I don't even want to go into the first time that I bled because that's a tragedy within itself. So imagine as a woman having to heal that tragedy along with many other tragedies because that's what women do. We are literally God's direct channel. We have been given a responsibility that is continuously belittled from the man's world perspective. But because I live in the woman's world perspective where women are respected, adored, accepted, and unconditionally loved, I'm able to sit here today and have stupid, low-hanging fruit conversation with men who need a mother's touch. You see, Jameson, bro? Come on, man. That is a wild... That's a wild confession. This is like confession over here, bruh. That's crazy. So you're one of those low-hanging fruit black men who hate their moms. Rightfully so. Like, I don't even blame you because she sucked. I don't even blame you. But that doesn't mean that you have to deny yourself the pleasure of experiencing your culture. But even then, I don't really care. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, because I'm melanated, I have to be with a melanated person. I've just never been that way. So I don't really care that you don't date black women. It doesn't bother me. You see, catch him slipping. Now you made it a competition. Ugh, my God, men are just, men just want to fight all day. Who said it was a competition? All I was doing was simply listing the things that go unaccounted for. That women are just finding out recently. Women are just realizing we shouldn't have cramps. Women are just realizing that birth control and all these things that are man-made literally are hurting us. This is not a fight for who does more than who. This is, we need to heal because frankly, both men and women have caused tragedies in the world that cannot be reversed, but can be healed for those who are willing to heal it. Wow, catch him slipping. Wow, you have to eat and sleep, catch him slipping. Oh no, mm mm it's not cute, bruh. The next time you come in my live acting all cute, bruh, I don't know if I'll take you seriously for that one. That's disappointing. Okay, Wit, tell me. What's your hot take? What do you mean, I know, right? Is it a gift from the man or woman, though? No, you see, that's the imbecilic nature of men, bro. Ugh, you don't mean what you say. It's your cycle. I mean everything I say. I'm a woman. I'm on a cycle. Every 30 days, the cycle doesn't end. The cycle is the physical representation of life and death. It is Ouroboros, bro. Ouroboros. It is literally... you. I can't just... I'm not... I, if If we were allowed... If it were biologically possible... For a woman to just say, I don't want to have my period for three years. You know how many women would do it? I would do it. <laughs> what? But I can't. I cannot stop it. 
And my body is the type of body that's going to be perioding for a real long time. So no, it doesn't have to, <laughs> nothing I say isn't real. What? Like, how diluted is the manosphere? Nothing I say is real because I'm on a cycle. So then you're saying women aren't real at all. Only women who decide to put freaking fiends in their arms and, and take pills to stop what's so natural for us are real. And those are the women who are most psychologically ill. Because to take yourself to a plastic surgeon, to look in the mirror and convince yourself that it makes sense to break your nose to get a new nose is a psychological disorder, period. But that's normal to you. That's normal because those women take birth control. Okay. Okay, I know, right? Again, this is childish freaking questions. If we didn't have the seed, how would you even have men? Who is talking about... <laughs> I'm not a, a man hater here. Maybe I'm a man eater, but I'm not a man hater. So I know the value of the man, which is why I talk to you guys like this in the live. Because you clearly do not have women in your life who are telling you the truth. I do like boiled eggs, Charlie. <laughs> I actually like scrambled eggs. And recently, I have been adding curry to my eggs. And I really, really love that a lot. Shout out to my Indian ancestry. Okay, Wit. Oh my God, Jameson, bruh. The Bible was written, the Bible was translated and transformed, let me say it like that, by men for men. So please give me a better, um, a better example. Oh wait, there is none. Let, let me tell you something about Adam and Eve real quick. This is the delusion of men, by the way. A man deluded people into believing that it took a rib to create a woman without a womb. Where did Adam get the womb from? Where did he get his womb? Where is it? Case in point. Catch him slipping. I don't know what black woman's going to date you, bruh. Adam is the wrong example of a man, first of all, because somehow he created a woman from without having a womb. So... Yo, catch them slipping. Even the, I know you're doing this because you get a kick out of this, but for the guys in the, in the live who actually want to learn, periods are very sacred. And for a man to make a period seem like it's nothing is actually very sad. Because without that period, you wouldn't get to have those eight babies that you want to have. So just like your seed is important, everything is important. Everything that the woman's body represents is important. So don't put it down. And this is why, again, y'all are never going to attract women like me. You will always be with women that you have to put down. And you will continuously to hate yourself for it. You will continuously hate yourself. Because you will never be fulfilled. You will never be satisfied. You will never be happy just because this is who you truly are. This is you, bruh. It doesn't matter if you're behind a screen. People like to come on social media acting like it's fake. I don't believe that. If this is how you talk on the screen, this is how you feel for real. 
which is why you will always, for real, attract women that reflect your adolescent viewpoints. Holistically helping women stop their periods. Yo, she sounds like a witch, bruh. What? Yo, catch him slipping. You sound like an abusive man. I'm going to pin that comment. <laughs> I always tell women not to get nose jobs. I love natural nose. No. Hello, Duke always says good morning. Hey, Duke, good morning. Don't call me bae, catch him slipping. I told you that once before, don't do that. Especially with the things that come out of your mouth, don't call me bae. No, the man's job is not to tell women the truth. The man's job is to lead from strength and the woman naturally follows because he understands that her heart is her own heart. Any man that tells me what to do is not a man for me, period. Another reason why you will never be with anybody like me and you will only ever talk to any lit body like me from through a screen. Or you'll have to pay. It's a Grateful Dead shirt, by the way. Thank you. I know, right? I know you're not protecting anybody. I know that. That's why your Scorpio lover is using and abusing you because you're weak. You're not a man. You're not masculine at all. You're way too deep in your femininity and you need to get that balanced. Jameson, you're a man, okay? So no, you don't know clearly because you're over here saying black women need to do your work while you do nothing but argue with women that you wish you could be with. Yes, I know, right? You are here to love women. Do you know what love is? Let's define love. Love goes beyond flowers. Love goes beyond spending your money. Love is a strength. It's an action. Men are good with the words, but they fail at the action. Which is why melanated women are fed up. What is the act? Where is the action? What is it? Men don't pay child support. Men act like melanated women can do everything on their own. Therefore, they don't date them like Jameson. They choose white women who actually, white men, don't put all this pressure on them. White women don't grow up with this pressure that melanated women grow up in. And I thank God for the pressure because it's made me the diamond that I am today. Yet, acknowledge this truth. So, if you don't know how to love a woman, because honestly, every... Men in general have their issues. But there's a reason why people are getting shit on in Dubai. <laughs> okay? There's a reason why. There's a reason why a woman would degrade herself like that. Rather than be with their melanated king. Learn to love. Women in general are tired of showing people how to love, bro. We're tired. We're tired of teaching dogs. We're tired of teaching men who are untrainable 
And I don't want to train anybody, bro. That's not love. I'm not here to be your mom. I don't want to be your mom. So just like Jameson doesn't like to date black men, black women, my bad. What if I said, I don't want to be with black men because I don't want to be a mommy. I'm too beautiful to be a mommy right now in the way he needs me to be a mommy. But I can be a mommy in the way I am right now by talking to you, by teaching you, by healing you, by having the patience to even sit through the stupidity that I'm seeing through the live right now in the comments. That's why you're still here. And that's why you're putting these stupid little comments because you want someone to put you in your place and that's fine i'll do it yet the thing is you need to take the water that i'm giving you go read my bio one sip is enough for the wise take the water that i'm giving you <laughs> take the milk and heal yourself Rather than watching videos on YouTube from the manosphere, all hurt men, because they're hurt. At the end of the day, machoism to me has levels to it. Obviously, I want to be with a Hercules, but I don't want to be with a guy who's Hercules, but then he's a little fucking weasel on the inside. I want to be with Hercules. I want to be with Zeus. I want to be with Poseidon. I want to be with Shango. I want to be with Ogun. I want to, let's keep going, right? I want to be with Osiris. I want to be with real men. I want to be with a Jesus from the true perspective of the Bible. Not this withering away man that denies himself of all things pleasurable to seem like he's deserving of this godliness that the Bible has lied to men about. When you go on YouTube, look for women like me because they're there. They're out there. We exist. We're not rare in that sense. And go learn from us what it means to be a man. The first thing a man could do is accept his femininity. If you're not going to accept my periods are useful, then what are we doing here? <laughs> what are we doing here? Okay. Something that will change your mind. Think about something. Go get some onions. That's y'all's homework. Go get some onions. Cut that onion. Cut the onions. Cook something real good with it. All the tears that come out of your eye when you're doing that is all the unshed femininity that needs to escape from your reality. Do some woman's work. Cry a couple tears. And then come back to me and talk about love. The, one, the, the melanated women you see every day want the impossible from the melanated men you see every day. So they're going to sukiyana it up and live their best life. I don't, I love sukiyana, bruh. <laughs> Do I agree with everything? Do I feel like she's a caricature? Yeah, but I get it. So I don't blame for, for her for how she has to make her money because the men that she has chosen in her life are completely unreliable. So if she has to make a fool of herself. She will do that because that's better than being attached to a man who needs a mommy along with her other five children. Ugh. And then it's so annoying. Men are like, 
you, you sounded so intelligent for a while until you said something that I didn't like. Ugh, the entitlement of men who don't deserve it. Like if, if men understood that will, women are willing to allow, like for me, a man that deserves to be entitled is like me. I deserve to be fucking entitled because I did the work. And you know what true entitlement is? True entitlement isn't being a dumbass coming on someone's live to criticizing their intelligence by trying to denounce them. No. Entitlement is your own sovereignty. Entitlement is owning, is the, is the stability of being an independent person. Being able to be codependent. And being able to be a living, breathing example to those around them. That is what's deserving of entitlement. Not the need to control, bastardize, put down man versus woman, this, that, weirdo ass mentalities that have put the world in the way that it is today. A world lacking of basic nurturing. A world lacking of spaces where people can have conversations like this and not beat each other up. How many places have you been to where you can have a conversation like the one we're having right now? Not too many. Because most people are so mentally unstable, they might pull out one of their arms and do something stupid. Thank you. But I'm not here to do anything stupid to you. Because I understand that you need it. But again, I might not have physical arms, (laughs) but I have words. Yo, I know, right, bruh? Punishment. What, yo, man, men, what is going on? (laughs) My good, keep going through the lives giving compliments. That's the thing. No woman likes a weak man. No woman likes a weak man, Giant Jameson. No person likes weakness in general. That is a healthy human being, okay? That minority of people I mentioned in the beginning who do like weakness in other people, a very small group of people that have somehow brainwashed the world into believing it's okay to be ill and unwell. We're not going to talk about them. But for the people like you, Jameson, who can recognize that small fact, or let's not say it's small. Let's just say it's a bare minimum fact that yes, a decent human being doesn't like weakness. Let's talk about exactly what weakness is. What is weakness? In a man's world, it's associated with being kind. Okay? Here's the thing. I am a kind person with healthy boundaries. That's what makes me strong. I am a kind, healthy, boundaried woman who bleeds every month. That's what makes me strong. From a man's perspective, everything I just listed is weak. (laughs) Okay. So if everything I just listed is weak, that means that in manosphere terms, femininity is weak. Which is why men are where they are today, lacking in good women. If I am weak to you, What makes you think anything's going to happen? You're right. It's boring. So as a feminine that is weak from a masculine perspective, you as a man who is living from this deluded reality of the fact that you are only masculine and you have no parts to do with femininity, what does that make you to me? Boring. Okay, Mike said, let me come up with a compliment for you. (laughs) 
No, you see, that's that false consciousness that men made up. Some man doesn't didn't understand that bleeding isn't supposed to hurt when it's natural. There was no harm done to the body. So why should a woman be hurting? Men made that up so women could be less of perfection than they already are, which is why men come on my live when they see me perfect, flawless. I could come out here without a wig. I could come out here in a garbage bag, bruh, and you'd still be on my live. But the thing is, because I know that, let's chop her down. Let's chop her down. Let's chop her down. Let's chop her down. But you don't understand when you're dealing with a strong woman, strength in her softness. All you're doing is making me more of a perfect, covetable diamond, bruh. So no, my period is no longer a punishment. My period is a gift. Because my period makes me the beautiful creature you see right in front of you today. Yikes, you know, there, you know, I don't think you can manipulate a healed individual. If anything, you saying that has shown me that I've manipulated you. Um, no, actually, I, I don't have many male friends. Um, <laughs> like, I know, again, assumptions that low hanging fruit men make, uh, but no, I don't believe in having friends just to have friends. So, no. Let's see. My let, let me break a stereotype for you so you can finally let's uh let's uh meet a melanated woman who doesn't meet all the stereotypes of a weird masculine world that likes to repeat itself in cycles. I am a melanated woman who has a very small dating history, if you'd like to call it dating. (laughs) And I am a melanated woman who prefers to keep her legs closed. I am a melanated woman who doesn't need to be masculine, to feel worthy of herself. I am a melanated woman that respects men. I am a melanated woman that doesn't have any baby daddies. I don't have any kids. I am a melanated woman that made it through the hellfire that is known as wild, violent, abusive trauma without becoming a video girl, without selling her soul for nothing, without any of that stuff. I am a non-statistical melanated woman. You can't put a number on me, melanated woman. That's the melanated woman I am. Golf claps for me. A man telling a woman yes or no for anything, that's that, that's that weird psychosis of the manosphere, that nice guy BS mentality, okay? Which is why, like, let's get into that conversation. Why do women prefer the bad boy? Because at least he's real. At least we know he's going to hurt us and he's going to hurt us good. A nice guy is not who he says he is. You know how many nice guys I've met that have broken up long-standing relationships? 
Do you know? Do you know how many nice guys I've met that charm their way, they slither their way into a woman's heart and then when they're at home, pow, pow, pow. You know how many nice guys of those that caliber exist? At least we know in a masculine world that the bad boy will at least hurt us up front, okay? The bad boy doesn't have time. Most times bad boys don't even, they don't care about how you look because the bad boy usually gets the hot girl. That's how stereotypical the manosphere is, (laughs) okay? The manosphere is so stereotypical. That the hot girl is going to be with the bad boy and then the bad boy is going to break her heart and she's going to become addicted to him because he was the realest man she ever met in her life. You know how many nice guys I've met that are actually demons? Horrible, horrible guys. And they're so popular on social media. Everybody loves them. They're like white Jesus. But I know the villain that he is. And I can't, what am I supposed to say? I tell my friends, oh, he's not that great of a guy. But because it's me, they go behind my back, chop it up with him, take my soppy seconds, and then learn for themselves there was nothing there but empty air. So no. No, don't be the guy out here giving your opinion, especially unsolicited. Like, oh, don't like guys think (laughs) guys from the manosphere. And that's that's majority of the world. Like the manosphere is not a niche on YouTube. It's like a reality. It's a reality so much so that people are dying. Israelis and Palestinians are both dying and people are picking sides. (laughs) So... Never tell me you're the guy that, oh my God, you're so beautiful. Why would you touch your face? Please, go home. How how will a woman ever find truth? By going within where all the truth exists. There is no such thing as a real male leader because they're not whole. You, there's nothing you can do in this life if you're not working from a whole space. I'm able to best do this job because I sit here as a balanced female presenting masculine and feminine. Okay. If you want to get into what the rainbow flag actually means, let's talk about it. I present feminine I am balanced, masculine, and feminine. Which is why, rather than blowing up and being insulted and being insulted by men in the comments trying to chip away at my beauty, because that's all feminine, submissive men can do these days, I'm able to meet it with a balanced response. That's what healed looks like. Healed looks like balance most leaders are imbalanced most leaders are feminine dominant inside which is why they belittle women do you know most male leaders are making emotional decisions left and right no tactic no intelligence which is why when monarchies existed women were calling the shots Most monarchies, if not majority, it was the woman calling the shots. And it wasn't until Queen Elizabeth got in power that people began to accept that. She did more as a woman than any man could do. Any man could do. Which is why when she died, she didn't give a fuck that her son was taken charge. Because she did what she came here to do. 
And now we're seeing one of the greatest kingdoms historically being made a fool out of. Because this man's little ego had to put his side piece as queen to cover up the guilt of who killed Diana. So don't tell me men know what they're doing in office. <laughs> because if you were a smart one, we know where the side piece belongs, on the side in the back, behind Harry, who should have been in the picture. Catch him slipping, bro. You're, you attract low-hanging fruit women. Besides me, you attracted me, which means that there's some light in you. Yo, Giselle, <laughs> all women are fed up. I'm just focusing on melanated because majority of the men who have the audacity to ask, like the audacity of the men to ask these questions, they should have the same audacity to heal themselves. <laughs> But they don't. It's easier. It's easier to come on somebody's live and attempt to disrespect them and fail miserably. Wait, what, okay, what would you do if when he's okay, so he said yes, would go? Y'all, we need people to speak better English in the live. Yeah, melanated women have made the wrong choice of continuing to forgive melanated men for the pain they continuously cause them. People have to learn that forgiveness is earned. And when we have been taught to continuously forgive and forget in ways that are detrimental to the soul, obviously everybody's going to make bad choices, obviously. So in that way, I don't blame humans for staying stuck in cycles. But I do blame them for not recognizing the patterns and having the same strength that these men have in the comments to simply take action. That's what it means to be masculine, action. It's action. And that goes beyond making money. It's okay, I did something wrong, cool. How do I make this up to her? Okay, she likes flowers, great. But the flowers aren't just for one day. It's every day along with making the corrections to yourself every single day so that you can show up as the person she knows you are because she chose you. Do you understand the power that women in general give men? We give you the opportunity to be better every single day. Every single day, our nurturing souls Regardless of anything, women go through hell, bro, with men in straight relationships. The gift of a woman's presence alone. Why do you think men feel the way they feel when the woman that they supposedly love, even though they've hurt her so much, leaves them because that nurturing presence is gone. And it's not until she leaves that they care and women have been again deluded into forgiving. Oh, he's chasing me. He chased me for a week. He chased me for a month. He chased me for a day. That means he loves me. No, that's no longer the criteria, babes. That's no longer the criteria. The criteria is now this. 
I forgive myself for even having stayed with someone who clearly doesn't love themselves enough to love me. And that's what you're seeing in the world regardless of anything from all women. But women have taken it to the other extreme of, okay, since men are useless, then let's go you know, bump and grind with women. But that that also is not the answer. <laughs> it's not, that's not the answer. I love black women. I'm glad you do, Bailey. It's only hard when it's love because the love that humans naturally express is trauma. <laughs> okay? And that's not even love, that's hate. Like, let's call a spade a spade. Hate is what humans have confused with love. Controlling someone outside of you because you have no control of your life is hate. Abusing someone outside of you because you punish yourself every day for the person you are at that very moment is hate. Belittling, chipping, All of it. We can go through every diagnosis in the most updated psychological standards. It's all hate, bro. It's all hate. So when you know that, you make way better choices. And it hurts. It hurts because it's hate. It hurts to admit to yourself that you hate yourself so much that you would delude yourself into loving such obvious pieces of shit. And that goes both ways. Masculine and feminine. Let's be man and woman. Whatever your, whatever floats your boat, however way you go, bye, I don't care, whatever it is. Hate is hate. Hate has no sex. Again, let's talk about really what the rainbow flag means. Shango is an African deity. And um, he is a god of Ifa. Yeah, that's the beauty of the gods and goddesses because they show you truth in emotion. The gods and goddesses were were the original people, let's call them that. And they would get mad, they would get spiteful, you know, they were doing all their weirdo stuff, brother sister stuff, family stuff. Those are the origins of how that laid the groundwork for what we see today and what we're here to do today is heal all that stuff and why those stories exist is for people to recognize the god and goddess within them that we are as powerful as those gods and goddesses and that's the direction we're going and that's what this healing is about this healing is about you genuinely do not first and foremost need anything external to you to be your best self Everything external to us, everything physical to us is icing on the cake. It's the cherry on top. Yet first and foremost, when your spirit is solid, all the things you want, everything you touch will be gold. So that's basically the point of the creation of gods and goddesses. Even the Bible, like that was really the point of the Bible is for you to know that you can walk on water. You can you can be the true meaning of Jesus in your life when you accept your femininity and Jesus's counterpart was Mary Magdalene who from the man of spirit perspective has been deleted from the Bible pretty much non-existent catch him slipping you see it as a beef it's not a beef it's reality there's no beef I don't have beef bro I don't even like eating beef Yeah, Jesus denied himself everything because men think their strength comes in denying pleasure. Like, no. And in in, in that stupid belief, they made women feel like we had to deny pleasure. (laughs) No, not me. 
You're looking for a Bathsheba? Well, hey, she'll probably end up saving you when you find her. Wow, women are only useful for babies. Yo, everybody read this comment. This is funny. No, I don't have veneers. My teeth are natural. Thank you. Yo, you see, the question, what do we bring to the table, is because men feel so not enough. This is the key here, women, okay, for all the women in the chat and the men in the chat who actually want to heal themselves. Here's the key. Women create the table. Okay, and to the comments that are always, I'm going to, after I, after Jameson's pin is done in eight seconds, I'm going to pin this comment and I'm going to address this once and for all. It's so fucking funny that people say this. Okay. Again, another thing to pin me down for. This is my life. I'm going to look at myself because I'm so beautiful. I can't take my eyes away from myself. <laughs> wow, you're here praising royals in Britain, the same ones that enslaved your ancestors. The audacity. <laughs> this is why the world is so small. For those who believe those things, my reality is large and in charge. I have a huge reality that it can accept the fact that human, that people, that beings are more than this skin color, more than their race. I can accept the fact that every piece of the puzzle is relevant. And I have the audacity to look beyond trauma and pain used to box me in to be a better, bigger, brighter person today. It seems to me like most people take for granted the fact that their ancestors even were slaves because if it wasn't them, it would have been you. Men and women Melanated men and women, women throughout the whole world, men throughout the whole world, everybody needs healing. It's just the thing is predominantly men like to come in my page because I'm a nurturing, dominant woman. So because of that, I put them in their place in ways that they would never tell their significant other that they need. And that's the other thing too. Men choose women that they can't be themselves with. Because that's what society has told them. You need to be with the prude that you can control, who doesn't know herself, that doesn't follow her heart, that listens to you. But then they're in my DMs and they're in my lives asking me to degrade them. What do you want? You want the best of both worlds? Then be the best of both worlds and you'll have it. And then men with the stupid jokes, you know I'm not talking about video games. One thing I've done as a woman is I no longer laugh at men's stupidity. I don't even entertain it, bro. And if I do say anything about it, it's very condescending and sarcastic. We need to stop looking at things from such a microscopic, like small, narrow-minded point of view. Yesterday, I gave the example of Hitler. So let me give the example of Queen Elizabeth, okay? We know what the British did, not just the British. We know what the Portuguese did. We know what the Chinese are currently doing. We know, we know, we know. We know the whole story, okay? We get it. 
Yet when we look at the world from a perspective of God has a plan and this is a part of the healing process, rather than looking at it from a place of doomsday, what do we take from it? We take from it this, we need to explore deeper. And there are people out there who get that. So what do these people do? They scavenge the world's encyclopedias for truth about melanated people. The true melanated people are actually the Murs, Lemurians. Where did Starbucks get its symbol from? The symbol of Starbucks is a walking mermaid. What did I say? Mers. Mers are the original melanated people. The original melanated people came from the ocean, from the water. Walking mermaids. So when we look at life from a place of okay, sure, all of these things happen. Rather than being stuck on his story, his story is that all melanated people were enslaved and brought to America and treated like ish. But when you look at the truth of what melanated people once were, Atlanteans, Lemurians, Egyptians, countries of great power, empires, Once you get past that very low hanging fruit and you get to the top of the tree, you learn that there is strength in melanin. And just because melanin has taken a few L's doesn't mean that there's a W, doesn't mean that there is not a W around the corner. That's how I choose to see life. I no longer view life from lack. I no longer view life from, oh, the royals. They did this, that, and the third. Like, no. Why do you think they keep remaking the color purple? Because they don't want you to leave that mentality behind. Growth takes letting go. Respect your ancestors for what they did for you. They took whippings and lashes for you to heal that for them so that you could live in a world where you would never have to experience such gruesome pain and suffering for nothing. That's how I choose to see it. They came up with the songs. They came up with everything. They left the underground railroads. They did everything. They gave birth to Martin Luther Kings. They gave birth to people like me. And it doesn't have to be biologically, but it's because I respect their journey that I'm here able to say the truth of what they want. I want my kids to never go through anything that I went through, which is why I take the chance and I take the opportunity from the lessons of the ancestors. Rather than focusing on history, I focus on them. Okay, y'all, y'all paved this road for me. Y'all did this for me. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Sure, I wish things were different, but hey, that's the way it had to play out for me to be the person that I am today. So rather than worry about Jim Crow, I'm like, okay, cool. That was made for me to not be who I am right now. That was made for me to be seen in the algorithm as less than, okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on live every day. I don't care how many people are on my live and I'm going to talk. And I'm going to tell people my story. And I'm going to heal the world in the way that I can heal the world. 
this is what your ancestors wanted from you. Not to worry about Queen Elizabeth. Because guess what? Queen Elizabeth and her family, one, they have their own problems. But two, they have money. <laughs> they can take care of themselves. But if you're still talking about slavery, that means that you're lacking in some way. Yeah, it's always women who come in the live who like, there's something women do that's so annoying. Like, oh, I've been in a relationship for four years and it's been going so great. If it was going so great, you wouldn't have to tell me, babe. It seems to me like men and women are both necessary for the process of building, doesn't it? Someone has to create what is being built and someone has to use their hands to build it. <sighs> Jameson, when you realize I'm not here to fight with you, bruh. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter, honestly. My rights have nothing to do with what someone says is law. Love is real. That's what is known as dark matter. Yeah, this person keeps asking the same question. That's weird. I... <laughs> Yo, Jameson, bruh. <laughs> if you want to have a battle of who's more of a genius than who, I will, I will literally destroy you infinity times over. But the thing is, I would, as a genius, I know not to waste my energy. Yo, this person said, I'm for real a freak. Just let me know. Okay. The criteria for me goes beyond a man being a freak, okay? But that is a nice addition, for sure. Yo, I can walk on water and not get wet. That's fire. Because we do it every single day. It's the same question. If a fish is underwater, is the fish wet? No. Empire. Hold on. Um, no, it's not respectable to deny pleasure. That's why people have all these weird perversions that are very unnecessary because they deny themselves simple things. And you know what? That's funny. <laughs> that just made me think about something personally in my own life. LOL. Yo, Jameson, you see, you're the reason why you get exploited. <laughs> Talk to women in person, why? That only shows me that you have no social skills and you're an undesirable man. Yeah, exactly. It's respectable to not live solely for pleasure, not to deny it totally. Yeah, that's it. No, it's not semantics. It's, you have to be specific because there are people out there who genuinely feel like if they deny themselves every single pleasure, it's they're like somehow going to get to heaven faster than everybody else. But honestly, you're going to get to hell faster than everybody else. Jameson said who would want to listen to me but has been on the live since the beginning. The reverse psychology, that's funny. Looks like someone's smart here. Yeah, nurturing dominant, period. Period. 
I don't think you're happily married if you're asking me the questions you're asking me, Jameson. Oh, I know I'm the main character, Dollar Sign. I know I'm the main character, baby. Yes, we need to get above sea. We need to get on land. That's the point. We need to get physical. I Okay, anybody who says that you should lower your standards because you have children is a demonic Satanist, okay? What? I've never even heard that before. If anything, you should up your standards because now you have children that you're to set examples for. You don't just want them to be around any sort of guy. We hear a lot about women who have kids that allow men into their lives and those men end up actually being in the relationship because they're there to take advantage of the children. So women really need, for a woman and a man, every time you experience what we perceive as an L in our lives, it's time for you to turn that L into a W. You have to up your life. You have to change your prayers. You have to change your actions. You have to switch up the pattern. You have to choose healthier ways up, not down. That's the problem. They want people to stay below so that their above is so unattainable because the lower you get, the more unattainable your your wishes, wants, dreams, and desires are. But when your below is in tandem with your above, when you get above sea level, you're finally able to just experience the entirety of an awesome life because that's what everybody wants, an awesome life. That's why you're here. That's why you're listening to me because you know I can provide you that. Well, I appreciate you, Ashley, Ashley. <laughs> Jameson, you were the guy who came on my live disrespecting me. You told me I was Jamaican. You've like literally disrespected every single black diaspora trying to figure out what my ethnicity is. I still haven't even told you my ethnicity. I'm spitting facts despite the fact that you still don't know my ethnicity and I'm melanated and it makes you mad. You want me to say what my ethnicity is so bad so that you can be like, I don't know what I'm saying. Well, guess what? I'm a woman of the world, baby. There is no ethnicity. All right? Thank you, Francesca. No, Jameson, you're guessing and you're confused. And I refuse to sell accept projections of proud Black American men. I bet I could recite the, the Pledge of Allegiance faster than you. Um, I know I give off motherly vibes. I have the stretch marks to prove it, but no. I don't have any kids. If anything, I'd say everybody who's my follower is my child. <laughs> so I have 1,550, probably 60-something now kids. <laughs> no, that's no offense. I actually find it to be a compliment. Uh, I love that, that uh, people assume that I'm a mom. Being a mother is a gift. And being a mother is in so many ways than having the kids. Like, you're an awesome woman for having your children. I bet you're an awesome mom. I bet maybe you've been through things and you're doing everything in your power to make sure your kids never even smell what you've been through. So I'm proud of you, Ashley. <laughs> Snaps for Ashley. 
yeah, my stretch marks are representative of, you're welcome, Ashley. Um, my stretch marks are, are representative of the trauma that I went through as a child who was forced into the parent role to four younger siblings and two grown adults who couldn't take care of themselves. So before I used to really, you know, shame my body and guilt myself, when I went into my appendix surgery, the women saw the stretch marks on my stomach and she was like, are you a mom? And I said, no. And before it used to be really awkward for me, but now I can proudly just say, you know, I know, I know why that happened to me, you know? It is what it is. I love my body every single day. Every stripe on my body is a badge of honor for having made it through the storm, buddy. So like I said, being a mom comes in all shapes and forms. You could have been born into a very violent situation where you had to be a parent before your years. God could have blessed you with kids in ways that are probably traumatic. And that's the other thing too that I want to talk about. I want to give a shout out to women who have their kids despite the very perverse ways that those kids have come into this earth. And I'll just give the first letter of those words. R, I, especially those two things. Those women who chose to have their kids regardless of the fact that womb genocide is just around the corner wherever you need it. Shout out to them for looking their assaulters in the face and saying, no, <laughs> no, I'm going to raise this kid as best as I can, even through all the psychological warfare going on. And I really, really give, sh those women don't get props and they're really dealing with a lot of stuff. And those women don't have a lot of resources to go to because it is an embarrassing situation but I'm acknowledging them because they exist and they hide in the freaking shadows because again, it's really an L for someone's dad to impregnate their daughter. It's an L for a brother, an uncle, anybody close because usually those situations happen with people who, and there, this is also a trigger warning for anybody. I apologize if this is triggering. It's just something that needs to be said because it's something that happens all the time with women. That's why I love being a woman because I know when when men come on the comments here and disrespect me, what you're doing is you're disrespecting a long line of women. I don't we're not biologically connected, well we are technically, but you know, closely we're not biologically connected, but spiritually women are feeling each other each and every day. And a lot of women don't have the direction to know what to do. So again, shout out to those women and any women who are in the live right now who have really been through some like tragedies, you know, shout out to you for making it out. It's definitely worth it. Yeah, the wallpaper is so wholesome like me, like my black heart. <laughs> no, don't don't downside. Don't don't down smiley face that Francesca. No, thank God you left him. Five years was too long. It should have been day one. I bet you did he didn't even start showing his true colors until y'all y'all moved into your marriage home. Oh, God, another black man talking about my wig. You know why traumatized women get a shout out today? Because traumatized women aren't seen. Because if you ever read the Scarlet Letter, you would know the life of a traumatized woman is very much so in the shadows. It's not celebrated. And, it, and if it is celebrated, it's celebrated in very hyper sexual ways that are extremely unhealthy.
<laughs> I really appreciate and love when people defend me in the comments. Y'all are fire. No, actually... What you view as vetting, what's vetting to you, P. Wayne? What does vetting look like? Because vetting to everybody is different. Vetting to me is someone loving themselves and having the audacity to just come out and tell me what they consider to be their deepest, darkest secrets and not weaponizing those deepest, darkest secrets and not victimizing those deepest, darkest secrets and really being a real one. Most of the time when people vet people, it's for stupid things like Israel versus Palestine. Who, who, what side are you on? <laughs> Yo, catch them slipping. Get out of here, bruh. That's how you get the girls. Okay, you get them like after you insult them and you put them down and everything, then you mass manipulate them. Get out of here, catch them. So I told you I'm disappointed in you. Wow, what a great live, you guys. This was really fire. Are there any last comments and words before I dip out? Oh no, Stain. Oh no. Oh no. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. I assume your name is Ashley. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. All right, y'all. So as always, your call to action and your homework, your homework today, cut an onion, cry, feel it, start healing. And on top of that, Go follow me on all my socials, share my pages, watch all my videos from top to bottom, comment on them, create dialogue from them, heal yourself, be a better person, tell everybody who I am and all the beautiful things you learned today. And let's see what these comments say before I go. Oh, wait, shout out to you. And okay, I've checked out the comments. There's nothing much being said. Um, Cody, uh, the person, I took a screenshot of that and I will check that out. I know y'all don't want me to leave, but I gotta go, babes. <laughs> I gotta go. Bye, and you will most likely see me tomorrow.